Here's problem 111. The basic function of an automobile's carburetor is to atomize the gasoline and mix it with air to promote rapid combustion. Assume that 30 cubic centimeters of gasoline is atomized into n spherical droplets. Each droplet has a radius of 2 times 10 to the minus 5 meters. Find the total surface area of these n spherical droplets. Okay, so we start off with some volume of gasoline. We're told that volume is 30 cubic centimeters of gasoline. We want to change this and atomize it into a bunch of little spherical droplets. In fact, we're going to have n, n spherical droplets. Now the volume hasn't changed, so really our total volume will be equal to the number of droplets we have times the volume in each little droplet. And that will still be the same volume because we haven't lost any material in, this, in these atomized drops. So if I could find the volume of a droplet, then I could find the number n of how many droplets we have. Now we know that the droplets are spherical, and we know that it has a radius r, and the radius is equal to 2 times 10 to the minus 5 meters. And we know for a sphere that the volume should be equal to, in this case the volume of the droplet, should be equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. So the volume of this dro of one droplet is equal to 4 thirds times pi times the radius of a droplet 2 times 10 to the minus 5 cubed. Let's figure out what that is. 2 times 10 to the minus 5 all that cubed times 4 divided by 3 times pi is 3.35 times 10 to the minus 14 cubic meters. Alright, so that's the volume of a droplet. But since I know that the total volume is equal to n times the volume of a droplet, I would have that n is equal to the total volume divide by the volume of a droplet. And we know that the total volume is 30 cubic centimeters and the total the volume of a droplet is 3.35 times 10 to the minus 14 cubic meters. I need to convert cubic centimeters to meters so I can uh, cancel out the meters. So I'm going to multiply the fact that there is one meter per 100 centimeters and I make, need to make this conversion three times to get rid of the cubic centimeters. So I'm going to end up with 30 times 10 to the minus 6 over 3.35 times 10 to the minus 14 and that will give me eight point nine five times ten to the eight droplets that's how many droplets of gasoline that I have nice to know I've always wanted to know that but we want to find the total surface area of these n spherical droplets well let's find the area of one droplet now the area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. So that's in general. So the area of a droplet is going to be equal to 4 times pi times 2 times 10 to the minus 5 squared. That's going to be equal to 5 .0 3 times 10 to the minus 9, or 5.026, let's go with that, times 10 to the minus 9 square meters. Our total area will be equal to the number of droplets we have times the area 
of a droplet. So this is going to be 8.95 times 10 to the 8 number of droplets times the area of one droplet 5.026 times 10 to the minus 9 and this will give us our area in square meters. Four point four nine nine, we'll say four point five zero square meters. That's a lot of area for that little bit of gasoline. And the reason we have so much area is because the droplets are so small, they have a lot more surface area to their volume ratio. Um, we don't have the answers in square meters, so we need to go ahead and convert this one more time back into centimeters. We know that there is one meter or 100 centimeters I'm sorry in a meter and we need to do this conversion twice that way we'll get rid of the meter squared so this will give us an answer uh, 4.5 times 10 to the 4 square centimeters So that's 45,000 square centimeters, and that's how much surface area we have with this number of droplets and with our gasoline. Having that extra surface area makes it more combustible and, and gives us a more efficient engine.